Hello, John. Hello, Oliver. And so you, you paid a visit to Galway Cathedral when you were going around fundraising for your uh, Christian TV Ireland. I did. And it's a, quite a big cathedral. And uh, one of the things that I noticed was uh, that there was parking near the, the cathedral out in the road and full. All the, all, I couldn't get parking in, in any place and there was quite a bit so that I could walk across to the cathedral. And I was surprised because when I did get into the cathedral by my entry, which was not the official entry, but uh, anyways, I got in and I went into the cathedral and it's quite huge and very impressive. Uh, now, the altar seems to be in the middle, as far as I could make out. That's right, it's like a stage. Aye, and then there's different parts that you can go around, and you could be this side, that side, the other side, and you would see it. So what way you would see it, depending on where you are, or what sort of a view you'd have, it's hard to know, but I presume you'd have a view, because it's probably geared that way you might be see the back of them some other place uh, but it's a, it's a huge cathedral and uh, big stations of the cross and that and it's quite quite uh, and really there was very few in it if, if, if there was only few and when I saw the cars I thought there might be something on or something but I don't know what all the cars was doing parked I'd say they were just it's been used as a car park well, I mean, this was now outside, the, the, and then in the cathedral there was car, there was plenty of cars, but you had to go in an entrance and a barrier, and then put in your pound shillings and pence or whatever it is that it cost. But I went in a way where it, it says no entrance because I couldn't. I was just going to rent. Because John Malone wanted to give his money to the church instead. <laughs> well, I did light a candle, um, and which was fifty cents, but uh, be that as it may, uh, and. Uh, but uh, I went in, and then a security man, uh, he, he could have oh, you came in the wrong way, you should have went around there, and I said, oh, you might have been around the World for Sport here, and, and I didn't see Anthony by way of Anthony's anywhere, and I couldn't uh, sort of, I said, I can't be going, spend my time going around here. Uh, so I come in when I saw an opening. Uh, well, I told you, so I said, oh, so, 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 so in the barrier, so, uh, right, so I said, I bear that in mind. And then he went off and night and I went into the cathedral and uh, viewed and lit a candle and put some leaflets around because there were, I don't know if there was no sports, if there was, they were locked. And I didn't have the key of the no sports. I didn't have what to call the master key. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some of them, the, 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 the no sports, but you can slide the lad across, mm -hmm. but then other ones is locked. So they were locked. Did you? I, I was in Galway Cathedral a while back to have a look at it because you know they never it's, 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 it's quite an amazing cathedral. It's really well done. There's a beautiful dome. Did you look up and see there's a big dome? I did. Okay, that's really really nice. You got the stations of the cross, um, which are very large. Correct. The largest I've seen. Um, you had the lovely church organ. When I, were, when I arrived, they were actually playing. There was two people playing upstairs. Oh, that was good. The church so you organ. You went a very nice it's, time. It's lovely, yeah. And what else? There was there's lovely doors, very ornate looking doors. I mean, the whole building is very ornate looking. It and is. And one thing as well is they've moved with the times. They have a credit card thing where when you walk in, instead of like giving you a few covers, Aye, you yeah. can actually donate with your credit card. That's right. Then Which there's a... There's a little model on the desk of the cathedral itself. I've seen that. They have a shop in there as well. Um, and then the altar rails that you're talking about, the marble altar rails around the altar. Which is good. Yeah, you like it. What's the idea of the altar rails again? Well, the altar rails is, is where people really should receive Holy Communion, kneeling at the altar, which is the way it was in my time and for years. And it was often a... Um, a, a white um, linen cloth the length of the altar rails and that uh, when you were receiving Holy Communion you often just had uh, you could put that to yourself and then uh, the priest with a pattern 
with an auto but with an altar server with a pattern under your chin to protect the sacred host. That's the way it was done. Uh, but uh, mm, uh, some of that has changed and people now are standing and receiving it uh, um, on the hand uh, because of COVID. But even before COVID, that's the way it was being done. Now, I was in churches abroad and uh, what I noticed with Eucharistic ministers was that they were dressed appropriately for that job. They had, the men had sutan and surplices and the women had a cloak and they had a, a, a thing around their shoulders like, a, a, I don't know what to call it, it's a, like a, an emblem around their sh shoulders down here. Uh, like a special thing that I think had a motive on it to do it what they were doing uh, because uh, and there were people were receiving Holy Communion kneeling at the altar rails and that's the way it was for years uh, it changed with, and it wasn't supposed to change it was never even a Vatican II never said that that should be the way but they said if in, in some places if that's the way they wanted to do it they gave them permission but Give a person an inch and they might take a mile, because that's what happened. So now it's, they they gave in to that type of thing, so now it's, it's kind of not as reverent as it was. Okay. From the outside, the building is, um, it's a very imposing building, but it's actually, they could do a bit of work on the outside. I think maybe a few plants or a few trees or something around it. It looks yes, very, yeah. it looks very bleak outside. Uh, correct. When you look at it from the outside, you actually get a shock when you go inside because it's so beautiful inside. Ah, uh, yeah, there, 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 there is a lack of uh, that uh, that sort of um, beauty uh, that plants yeah, can yeah, do, yeah. and they don't necessarily have to be plants; they can be in big bowls, and it always gives uh, it always gives a a kind of good overall impression, doesn't it? Gives a feeling of life. Yeah, and I've come across that in churches, and they're lovely to see it. I really have, and I've come across marvellous ex uh, examples of the care that the parishioners, I presume, do. And also what I did notice was that in many churches, parishioners actually paid for a lot of stuff. They paid for the stations at the cross, but maybe not in Galway Cathedral, and they paid for, for, for the stained glass windows. And things like that. They pay, paid for quite a bit. And of course, if their m money would have helped to build the church in the first place. And though I think they probably got some help from America, that church cost only a million pounds when it was built. Can you remember what year it was built? I know the late, late show was on, and there was a fellow from Wales, Traviscus or something like that. I think he committed suicide years afterwards, but uh, he was on that show giving out about the cost that it should be into the health or something so like uh no church would be built of people at that caliber had their views yeah uh, but he got uh, aired and that so it was in the media there seems to be that sort of attitude to get publicity against this that and the other that might be benefiting people but anyways i was in the cathedral and also as a matter of fact uh I made sure to um, try and get there early. I had been, and it was a terrible wind that day, and I had been in Boyle County as Common, staying with a friend for a couple of days, and I left on the Wednesday and went to Roscommon Town and then to Watlone. There was a little light, reddish light on the dashboard, and I thought to myself, one that watched that and my friend and boy reckoned that it could be anything and it uh, said in one part of the book if you come across it stop and don't go anywhere and I said uh, that didn't happen to me because it's not there for a fortnight and I'm certainly going about so I went to the dashi in that loan and they were helping and he said I'll check it out I put it on the computer it cost you 30 euros I said oh, fair enough go ahead and so in 10 minutes it was they got rid of it he said I think it might need a service okay so uh, anyways, I'm just digressing there. Uh, and then I went on to the Galway and I was going into Galway little after 11. So it shows you and the bloody wind there was blowing force 10 or force 9 or 10 or 11, whatever. It was a terrible game. 
I believe it wasn't too bad up this neck of the woods. Anyways, I got into the cathedral and of course parking, you might as well throw your hat at it. I couldn't park, I had to go in the, in, in the, the wrong way. Uh, so I got that done and then I went, I knew there was a church out in Salt Hill and I went out there. Mind you, there was plenty of traffic. I got into that and managed to put up on the nose board. It wasn't locked. Glass, I think I had to move about, but I certainly did that. I oh. put, and I put some in the church. I always leave some in the church, and I left some in the cathedral. Probably half a dozen leaflets around the place, or more. And um, so I, I did Salt Hill, and then I know, so I know Galway from that point of view. So I, I went down and I went along the coast road, and uh, because I come across another church, I think it's a Norwich town. And I was able to put them up on the north board there and put them in and speak to people there because there was more people there. And I don't know if I'll get into a Presbytery office or a shop or something and have a, a yap with them. Uh, I did have a yap with one or two in the cathedral in, in Galway. I didn't mention that. I did. And um, that, and I mentioned about the park and then wonder what all the cars are doing there outside and, and, and the amount of car park and but what's the use of with all these cars i don't know why they were there and i didn't see any supermarkets around them no uh, so then i uh, so by the time i left galway with the traffic and this that and the other because in roadworks it was one o'clock mm-hmm. i was there shortly after 11 so it took me two hours to try and move about that place I avoided like the plague. That's why I didn't go next or near it. Uh, I went to a call a couple of business premises that I used to do, do business with. Uh, that wasn't in the centre. Uh, but in any event, uh, so at least I got it done. Got the three churches done, the three churches. And off I went then down towards Clare on the dual carriageway, the motherway, the car going like this. And... Uh, I went down to Ennis, I couldn't kind of locate the cathedral. I saw it many a time before when I wasn't particularly looking for it. Then I turned up towards Tulla. I must have done about 10 churches by the time I got to uh, Killaloo in County Clare and Ballinan County Mayo, or County uh, Tipperary, where my mother, Lord of Mercy, was buried with her father and with all the McCoys. That was her, that was her name. That was her. That was her surname, and she's buried there. So I had flowers that I had already purchased, and uh, did that, and stayed in the Lakeview Hotel, and I did more calls then. After that, mm-hmm. coming back, so um, that was that particular area. But then, as I say, I did in Munster as well. So it was good to do all these things and to listen to people because. There's no point in just going around, whizzing around, and not getting a, a feedback. Yes, yeah, so you were impressed anyway with Galway Cathedral. Oh, I was. Very good. It's a great asset to that, to that city. That's great. Okay, thanks, John. Thanks.